Hello, thanks for your interest in our paper, Learning from Labeled and Unlabeled Vertices in Networks. This is a semi-supervised learning problem. The goal is to learn a classify to infer the labels of unlabeled vertices just using the labeled vertices and the network structure. Our method is based on the concept of homophony. Homophony is the tendency of individuals to connect with similar ones, as in the proverb, birds of a feather flock together. For the example network, the vertices 1 to 4 belong to the yellow class, and the vertices 6 to 9 belong to the green class. So which class does the vertex 5 belong to? A simple relational neighbor classifier estimates the class membership probability of the vertex 5 by this formula. The probability of the vertex 5 belong to the yellow class equals to the probability of it belongs to the green class. So we do not know exactly which class the vertex 5 belongs to. To solve this problem, we change the hard label problem to the soft label problem. We first transform the vertex from graph space to vector space. Given a network, we know its adjacency matrix. We can build the random walk transition matrix and use each row to denote each vertex. For each vertex, we give it a class indicator score, and the label of the vertex is determined by the sign function. W and B are parameters to be learned. We use the weighted vote strategy to determine the label of the vertex valve. For each label of the vertex valve, we multiply its cluster indicator score by the edge weight and compute the average class indicator score. If the average class indicator score is greater than 1, we give the vertex valve the green class label. Otherwise, we give it the yellow class label. The two inequalities can be combined as this formula. To classify the cases that between minus 1 and 1, we introduce the select variable. Note that in semi-supervised learning scenario, the number of the labeled vertices is scarce. In this example network, we cannot directly use the weighted board strategy to determine the label of the vertex valve. Our method accumulates the neighborhood information from Y-hop to M-hop neighbors and denotes the representation of the vertex in vector space by X. Now our objective function is in this formula. To optimize the objective function, we propose a search strategy called gradient and coordinate descent method. For more details, please read our paper. Thanks for your watching and looking forward to meeting you in Halifax.